Welcome to G Ball Vision, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic day today. I have a little different, little more. I think this is actually going to be an exciting video. So I'm getting ready to leave this coming weekend for a trip to the ocean. We're going to be gone for like five or six days or so. And I figured I'm going to start getting some of my stuff ready now. And then I started to figure out what am I going to, you know, what am I going to take stuff in? What am I going to take and all that sort of thing. And this is the Roaring Fire gear. And I believe it's called the Armadillo Roll or something like that. And it's the Tool Roll, basically, okay? And this has the ability to hold a literal ton of stuff. On each side, you got varying size pockets. So you have that side, which goes from kind of small to big. And then I'll flip it around here. And on the other side, you have all the same height, but varying widths. So you have some bigger ones, some skinnier ones, and some stuff in between. And then on both sides, you have some Velcro patches or pouches, I'm sorry. You have three on this side. And then on the other side, you have two bigger slots, right? So I figure this is basically perfect to get about 85 or 90% of the stuff that I want to take with me on this trip. And as I was getting this around and whatnot, I figured, well, why not make a video out of it and kind of bring everyone along for the ride and the thought process. Plus, you have these elastic bands here in the middle to hold either something that's real skinny that comes up through and or to just slide stuff individually in between there, flashlights, pens, so on and so forth. So let's get started. I'm going to raise the camera up a touch and we'll be right back. So that's about as high as I'm going to go. If I need to slide it one way or the other, I will. So I'm going to be gone for five days. We're leaving on a Sunday and coming back. We're leaving very early Sunday morning and we're coming back, I believe, on a Thursday night. So I need to account for the trip down, the trip back and cover everything basically in between. Right. So why don't we start off with a multi tool? So we're going to kick it off with the Victorinox Huntsman. This bad boy is loaded with various capabilities. You got your toothpick and your tweezers. You have your awl in there, and then you have your little hook thing in case you want to hang this to a tree or something. And then you have, you know, you have your small drop point, your large drop point, bottle opener, can opener. Got to have this, guys. And then one of the best tools of all time. The Swiss made Victorinox scissors. Uh, huge fan of Victorinox's scissors. So we're going to, we'll slide that in right there for now. And we'll, we'll just kind of play with it and see what happens. <laughs> and so although I will have two multi-tools inside the cab of the truck, and I will be bringing a small toolbox uh, that'll stay in the bed of the truck, just some hand tools and stuff. But this is stuff that, you know, that's stuff that stays in my truck. And then I have stuff that leaves the truck. So we'll throw the Leatherman Skeletal in here, basically for the pliers and the driver. And then on top of that, you will have a partially serrated and straight edge knife that is actually pretty sharp and it's got a lock on it. So that will be coming with as well. So we'll slide him in there and we'll see if we can kind of clip everything on this guy. So we got the multi-tool covered and I think I want to bring two pens. I'm going to bring the Lynch Northwest tactile turn, uh, side click special edition we're gonna bring that one with us uh we'll slide him in right there 
And then I would like to bring the Bastion Bolt Action, which this is blue or uh, black aluminum. So we'll go ahead and we'll bring that guy with us as well. Him in right about there. So I think next will be lighters. So next up is lighters and fire starters. We're going to roll with the Douglas Field Lighter. Absolutely incredible piece of gear right here. This is the old style uh, trench lighter and it is made in Japan. The bottom clearly states made in Japan. The Field L, which is the Douglas Field L lighter. Exceptional piece of gear there. And then we're going to bring, although I have a Ferrocium rod and starter in the truck, we're also going to bring an Exotac Ferrocium rod and starter. I'm also going to bring a torch lighter that is refillable. These jet lighters are absolutely well worth the couple bucks. I have had one for several months and refilled it several times. These are phenomenal. And then we're also going to bring an Exotac sleeve with some fire starter paracord. And within that is a large size brand new BIC. So I think, let's see here. I think the side might be a good spot for some of this various stuff. So maybe not that. We'll put the lighter. We'll put the Exotac in there as well. I'll kind of know this is my lighters and fire starter side. Can I get this in there? Yes. So that'll be basically, and then of course I'll have a lighter with me, a Bic or a Dejeep or one of them torches, but just, you can never be too prepared. You know what I'm saying? So what do we got next? So how about a pry bar and bit driver so we can make sure we can ma maintain our stuff? Uh, I think the Vero Engineering uh, Fulcrum here, I think this will do a phenomenal job at what I need to do. So we'll slide him in right there. Now, depending on how you lay this out, you, you, you will have to maybe rearrange some things. Like say I want to slide a knife in here, but I want this stuff here. You might have to slide the knife in or what have you and then put this stuff back in. We'll just kind of have to play with it, see how hard it gets, you know, and we'll go from there. So we'll keep some uh, just feel good items, EMP, EDC, coin. Big Red and Blue Creek Knives collaboration coin. Love this coin. And then we'll bring some fidgets, pocket trash type stuff with us. We got the chill pill here. And then we have some 3DC printing fidgets, sliders. Got two of them there. I think a good candidate for that is going to be over here with the microfiber cloths that I have in there. Those can just stay in there. And then our fidgets can go there. Coins can go here. And we'll still have a little bit of room where the coins are, just in case if we need that. So the key is I want to bring good quality stuff. I want to bring some more budget-ended stuff. We don't want to bring all the best stuff we have because if something were to happen to your kit, you know, God forbid, then you would be shit out of luck, basically. So we want to kind of mix in some good stuff with some more affordable type options. So I want to bring a slip joint and I'm only bringing one. We're going to go with the Ohio River Jack from Traditional Pocket Knives. This is the Jig Tie. M390 Warren Cliff blade, and then a Lancelot leather slip should slide right into this guy here. Yes. So 
We'll go with one slip joint, two pens, one pry bar, two different styles of multi-tools. We got lighters and ferro rods, fidgets. We got some coins just because. So we have a little bit of maintenance stuff. I'm going to, as far as we got screwdriver set here, I'm going to bring a bottle of KPL. We'll slide that in where the coins are. So before we go getting too much crazier, we want to make sure we have enough room for knives. So for starters, we're bringing the Kunwu s Tau in Vanex, useful blade shape, titanium handles, Tamascus pivot collar. Uh, it's a well-rounded knife with excellent materials. It looks fairly gentlemanly, uh, and I will not have to worry about corrosion. So that is definitely going along there. Fits perfectly here. We're going to also back that up again with something else in Vanex. We're going to go with the Quiet Carry Drift. Got a beautiful drop point blade, black knurled titanium handles, deep carry wire pocket clip. Very minimal design, but gives you a full grip and a nice useful blade. Probably my favorite secondary of all time, right behind the Nimble. Absolutely love this thing. Can we slide him in? Boom, look at that. So, now, we, you know, I'm also, I'm going to throw another slip joint in here. Uh, just because we got the Rough Rider Apta. Beautiful walk and talk for a $30 slip joint. Beautiful micarta VG10 on the blade steel. This thing is absolutely exceptional for a slip joint. So we'll see. No. So we'll go, we'll go down here. We'll go right there. So let's bring us a nice cleaver. And I'm hoping to have something for this here very soon. The Thick Boy version 2 from EMP EDC. Something fun, something useful, something uh, just that's badass. So the Thick Boy V2, that'll be going along. Why don't we slide? And the next time you see him, he will probably look a little different. So we're going to throw in... A more budget banger. We got the Migaron Moyero. We won't have to worry about corrosion resist uh, corrosion issues with the Thick Boy with the Moyero. They're coated, so you know they should be pretty much fine. 14 C on this guy, 20 CV on the Thick Boy. White G10 handles. Uh, I love this little guy. Exceptional, affordable. EDC knife in my opinion. So we'll slide him in right her. We want a pure gentleman style knife. So we're going with the tactile knife company thumb stud rock wall in Magna Cut, which should be very corrosion resistant. Titanium scales, pocket clip, backspacer, nice gentleman style folder going out the E, and so on and so forth. Definitely going to want to have that guy with us. He can slide in right there. Perfect. So I'm going to want to include some titanium tweezers. Those can go, those can go here. We definitely want those. I'm taking a bathroom, you know, set of stuff, but... I like to have all my stuff, you know, that I know that I have in one spot. And this is pretty much perfect for me. So I don't usually take stuff out of my other packs. Once I have a pack done, I leave it alone. That way I know 100% the stuff is in there. And this is in, goes in one of my packs and will remain there. But I'm going to take this with me on the trip because... It does have a 6, 8, and 10, where the Vero, I think I only have an 8 and a 6 in there. 
and just in case I want to have a T10 with me uh, and then this will go right back in the pouch that it came from and I'm not taking that pouch with me so you know it can stay here and when I get home it'll go back into the pouch so I want to take at least one auto with me so we'll take the Microtech Ultratech. This is a drop point in M390 with the red aluminum scales. So I want to take one auto with me just, just because, just for, just for fun. So he'll go there. So this next one was a hard one to decide on. I want to take at least one, if not two, fixed blades with me. Uh, I won't mind having one that I can scout carry. And then I won't mind having one that I can carry like down in a pocket or something. So I'm thinking the Axial Gear uh, Alpine here with a coated S35VN powder coat, my car to handles. I think that's nice, minimal, lightweight, a beautiful knife. Going to get pretty much anything done that I could need. I think that's a good candidate. So we'll take him along. So I'm not quite sure where to put this guy. Maybe maybe we'll just go with there because this slot back here is very short and wide. And I don't know that I'll have anything to put in there. And if I do, I can just slide it in. So that should go good there. I also want to bring something I can write in or write on. So we're going to be bringing a log and jotter. That'll come in at the end. So we'll set him to the side for now. So next I want something reliable, semi-tactical, but still very useful. So we'll go with the Spyderco Yohimbo 2 with the compression lock. Very, very well-rounded knife. Will that fit in there? See, sometimes if you just tweak on some stuff get in there yeah buddy there see so next up in case i want to go really lightweight we'll go with the magna cut version 2 hogue deca i was going to take my bug out then i was going to go 940 and then i ultimately decided on this one my 940 and my bug out are very expensive knives not that this isn't expensive but uh it's got a coated magna cut blade which gives me peace of mind it's just as lightweight and just as useful and you know i'd be pissed if something happened to this but i would be a lot more concerned if something happened to my bug out or 940 and s90 so we'll definitely be taking the Hogue Deca with us. We'll put him down here. Beautiful. This is turning out nice. A couple other things I'll be bringing is a Hank from Issuing Stitches, a Hank from EMP, EDC, and Little or uh, Awesome Hanks. Going to be bringing that. And then this will be what I bring as my pouch. Uh, I have a couple of these now, and this is my user one. So I'll be bringing this along. Uh, I don't know how this stuff will fit into here, but we'll figure that out at the end. We'll put that here with the notebook. This one was also very tough. I need to bring at least one nimble relative or something of that nature. I got a thick boy. So I'm going to bring my, I was going to bring my V2, but I don't want nothing to happen to that for sure. And then I was going to bring my version one OG nimble that's coded. I certainly don't want anything to happen to that. So, and I love this knife, but you know, this, I can uh, be comfortable in knowing that I'm bringing this with me and it'll be fine m390 sheep's foot blade but i have the version 2 to kind of back this up in a sense if something were to happen it's always good to keep that in the back of your mind so we'll slide him in right there by his brother so we have bolster locks we got frame locks we got some liner locks we got some compression locks 
I need a button lock. So we're going to take the large pyrite, the original large pyrite with the black G10. Love this thing. We're going to bring him. And then I want something with a kick stop. So we're going to bring the Oser F22. This is definitely one of my pride and joys. So we'll bring him along and him. So let's go. We'll go here. For that guy. And. Hmm. I guess we'll go. I guess we'll go here. Knock the camera around and we'll go right there. Okay, okay, looking good, looking good. So I want to bring a badass front flipper with me. And I think the Kaiser Cobalt 2 will fit the bill. This has 4V for the blade steel, and it is black washed with aluminum handles. So I think this is a good candidate for a front flipper to bring with. We'll slide him in right there. So next up is going to be some flashlights. I want to bring one rechargeable that is USB-C. And then I want to bring one that is batteryized. So we'll bring the Through Night Archer Pro, which is an exceptional budget ended light. We'll slide him in right there. Okay. So for the battery, we'll go with the i5T, which is a AA battery. I can definitely get along with that so we'll put him right there and i decided i'm gonna go ahead and bring another one this is the olay arkfeld i'm not taking my lalima with me uh i'm just not so i'm gonna bring this guy it's got a green laser i can shine it at people and you know do all that fun stuff so we'll take him and where will he fit? We might have to do... We'll do that. See, these bands are very tight for retention. So there we go. Three flashlights, two rechargeable, which is what my phone uses, and then a double A. And then I have a couple in my truck, of course. But like I said before, I want to have my own kit. We'll also throw some band-aids in here. Um, we'll put those in where the fidgets go. Definitely going to want to take some band-aids. Yeah, I have a medical kit in my truck, but like I said, we want to have backups to our backups. So if you made it this long, thank you. I hope that was kind of entertaining. I thought it was uh, actually fairly entertaining for myself. Uh, and this is the kind of shit I like to watch. Uh, so I hope that was somewhat entertaining. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you think I should add to this guy. I'm going to leave some spots open here. Let me know if you think there's anything else I should add to this guy. Uh, we're going to put... So this rolls up very nicely, guys. I think this is what I did the one year. I opened some of the stuff up like that. And then this rolls right up, guys. 
It's freaking sweet. And then all you do is you bring your buckles around. Make sure they're straight. And then this will buckle in right here. And then you just cinch it down. Other side. Leave it down in the comments, though, if you think I'm missing some stuff or that I should add some stuff. I might come up with some other stuff. Uh, but let me know what you think. And then it's all, all that stuff is in this nice little satchel. You got a handle here and a neck strap. This thing is phenomenal. I'm glad I picked this up a year or two ago. You can put patches here on the side if you want to do that. But this is made out of some very good stuff. Roaring Fire Gear is a thumbs up in my book. And this tool roll is phenomenal for a variety of things. So give me a thumbs up, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I have too much of one thing or not enough of another. I am taking some knife shield with me in a different container. And I will have some other stuff that goes with me that's just not pictured here. But this way I have a nice little kit. And I have a few days to refine this. Uh, so I'll post this a day or two before I leave that way. If you have any ideas, you can leave them down in the comments. If you are new here and you are not subscribed... I definitely recommend subscribing down below the video. Click the G-Ball Vision logo. Do something. Just subscribe. And I'll throw up two new videos. I definitely recommend going and checking this one out because it is a banger. Catch you guys later.